A joint coordination center to oversee the export of Ukrainian grains opened in Istanbul on Wednesday. The Joint Coordination Center will oversee departures from three Ukrainian ports in which ships must circumvent mines and will conduct inspections of incoming ships for weapons. The center consists of military and civilian representatives from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and the United Nations. There is no military element in this field. With the mediation of Turkey and the United Nations, Ukraine and Russia signed an agreement in Istanbul last week on the resumption of Ukraine's green shipments from Black Sea ports. All vessels pass through Turkish waters and all parties have appointed representatives at the Joint Coordination Center to monitor the implementation of the plan. The hope is that the landmark deal can help avert famine for tens of millions of people. We believe that the works to be carried out through the Joint Coordination Center will make significant contributions to overcoming the food crisis affecting the whole world and reducing prices. Ukraine and Russia are among the world's biggest exporters of food. A blockade of Ukraine's ports by Russia's Black Sea fleet has hurt global supply chains. Moscow, which invaded Ukraine in February in what it called a special military operation, has denied responsibility for the food crisis. It instead blamed Western sanctions imposed for slowing its own food and fertilizer exports. Almost 30 percent of the world's grain is produced in Russia and Ukraine, and ever since the war, this has brought export delays worldwide. Regions from Middle East Africa are looking for a fast solution. This deal is expected to avert a global food crisis. Turkey has deep-rooted political, economic and cultural relations with both Ukraine and Russia. Due to its historical and cultural bond, Turkey attaches the utmost importance to the security and welfare of both countries. We hope that the work of the Joint Coordination Center will pave the way for a permanent peace environment. We have expressed at every opportunity that we are in favor of peace, tranquility and dialogue and we are continuing to do so.